What's up everyone, Kita Sean here. So in this video, we're gonna go ahead and continue on with the Camelot guide video and we're gonna go ahead and talk about Tristan. So there's gonna be three fights with Tristan. The first fight is gonna have two battles. The first battle is gonna have the Archer Knights. They're gonna have 80k HP. There's gonna be three of them. And then the second battle is of course gonna be with Tristan and his HP is gonna be 239k. And then the second battle is gonna be Tristan alone, 483k. And then the final battle, he's gonna have 496k HP. So Tristan's gimmick is that he's immune to poison, he does bonus damage to all classes except for shielder, so that means Mashu. He also receives neutral damage from all classes except for sabers, so even though he's an archer, he actually is weak against sabers. He takes times 2 damage from them, so definitely you want to bring sabers for this quest. So basically the strategy against Tristan is that bring your sabers, spam your MP, he actually uh, helps you gain a lot of MP with his attack, so you don't have to worry about that too much. But uh, for the first fight, uh, you definitely want to bring a Lancer uh, against the Archer uh, Knights because you know you don't you don't want them to kill your sabers. So uh, definitely bring maybe uh, an AOE Lancer so that you can get rid of them faster. If not, uh, I mean a strong Lancer like Skasaha or Brynhilde would be just fine. I mean your three-star Lancers or your two-star Lancers would be fine as well. They're not that strong. Um, you can also uh, use use Raiko to uh, use her Noble Phantasm because she's a Berserker, she deals a lot of damage to them with her AoE uh, Noble Phantasm, but um, of course when he gets to Tristan she's going to be kind of useless, but that's when your sabers come in and you know it's, your sabers will do all the work after. So again, just bring sabers against Tristan. To name a few, uh, I mean it doesn't really matter, AoE, single target, it really honestly does not matter, but single target servants do a lot more damage against him because of their noble phantasm being single targets. So uh, Okta Soji, Caesar, Nero Bride, uh, Rama, just to name a few. Of course you can bring support servants like Waver so that you can increase damage, also increase uh, defense I guess, which I don't think you really need, but he does help you gain noble phantasm with that. So definitely waiver is always a good choice. Uh, you can also bring Tamamo. You can, I guess, bring Mashu. And you can also bring like uh, anyone that can, you know, provide some kind of a buff on your sabers but just remember a lot of those servants that aren't sabers are gonna receive bonus damage so uh, just be careful there but again just bring sabers and you're good to go so that's how you beat tristan again he it's very straightforward just bring your sabers and you're good to go like he's definitely the easiest boss in camelot so you don't have to worry about tristan too much he's like He's nothing compared to the other uh, boss fights in Camelot. But uh, again, just in case, if you really, really want to go defensively, just bring, you know, servants that can stun him or like use evade skills and stuff like that. So, uh, but just, just bring sabers and Tristan will be a piece of cake. Thanks for watching guys. So again, this is a six part video. The sixth and last video will be out tonight. It's going to be on Arturia Lancer. Definitely check that out once I upload it. But other than that, all the other servant Camelot bosses are actually down below in, in the description. So check those out. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters.